Now that we've guessed the Pokemon, let's see if we can get into the bank and have a look at the incident. <laughs> Hello. Let's have a look. Oh, hi. Hi. I just independent journalist, but I bank with the Halifax, so it should be okay. I'm going to do some. I'm going to do some banking in a second. All right, no worries. Okay. All oh. no, right, mate. All good. Good to see you. Thanks, man. Cheers. Oh, thanks, man. Cheers. Thank you. I'll do my banking in a second anyway. Thanks, mate. Good man. Thank you. Just make sure you don't catch anyone in the money area. Absolutely. No personal details. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sorry, bro. Sorry. My spider senses tell me he's not a bad guy. He's just emotional because uh, something's gone wrong with his banking. The guy's got his ID over there. But, uh, Excuse me, it's illegal to... Oh, it's okay, we've verified it with the, the with your security and the police, it's okay. It's okay. Right, who are you with? Oh, just myself, independent. Yeah, you're not allowed to film in the branch. Oh, oh, okay, no problem. I understand. Thanks anyway, no problem, no problem. Cheers. Oh well, it was good while it lasted. Oh, we'll go outside, look at the flashing van, woo! Oh, you got some free speech enthusiasts discussing the uh, medication mandates from a few years back. Hey guys, you're right. Hey bro, you okay? Well, I think we're going to leave this scene. The guy just looks emotional. He's, I uh, maybe in this country people call the police too soon on people for no reason. Yeah. Hey, good morning from Manchester again. Uh, the travel safe officers here, Metro Linker doing the whole ticket check, antisocial behavior check. If you've got both a ticket and antisocial behavior, they'll let you go. It's uh, if you um, miss out on both, then you're in trouble. Not for me, he's just recording. Stop. Oh, he's recording? Yeah, as he's walking along. Gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna record it. Yeah, see it, say it, sorted. Yeah, thank you. Hope you don't mind me recording. A little bit. Pardon? Hope you don't mind me recording. Well, I just want to get some people caught um, without a ticket. But no um, bad intentions except drama. Right. Why? Why do you want to do that? Oh, it's my living. I I'm a YouTuber. Oh, right. Okay. But no, no bad intentions. Purely right. to get. How do I put it? People squirming after being caught being dishonest. That's all I'm after. But anyway, that guy. I agree with you. He looked a bit dodgy, and he's wearing a big jacket that's not right for this time of year. You know. Yeah. Well, good luck. Cheers, man. Cheers. That's interesting. That is interesting. Giant Big Two and another Giant Big Two. The next stop is Shuto Interchange. There you go. Hello. Are you all right? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Can I help? Yes, I'm just fascinated by the um, by the fix going on here. Please excuse me. Please. Oh yeah, no, sorry. Yeah. But who who are you? I'm I'm me. Yeah, you're, you're you. I am indeed. Yeah. You're looking right at me. Yeah. What do you mean? Who am I? I'm literally I'm the man stood in front saying. of you. I'm sorry. I'm just wondering what you're you're looking to achieve. Are you trying to prevent me from filming the the works here? No, not at all. No. Okay. Well, no. well. Nick, do you want to just um, uh, put it all back up, please? Put it all back up. Yeah. Are you being serious? Are you being that that passive aggressive and strange that you think a, a, a photographer taking an interest in the man's hard work is no. a no. matter of problems? No. And you were you were trying to physically block me from filming. And now you're going to deny it. But, um, proprietary technology is That's why we're a bit... Um, anyway, no, but proprietary technology, you're in public. Sure. I'm filming from a public space. Absolutely. So everyone relax. I'm not, I'm not stopping. We're not, we're no, you are, you are stopping. You physically tried to stop me. It's on video. And then you told him to wrap it all up when I got a bit closer because you are nervous and you are rude. But anyway, this sir, the working man, I like you. You're a hardworking man and I was interested in what you were doing. I didn't mean for these... Can I take a look at your camera? Take a look at it? Yeah, yeah, no, please. sir, no. Why have I have I physically touched your stuff? No. Oh well, why are you asking to physically touch my stuff? Just show me your menu Bad then. analogy, bro. Just show me the menu. Bad analogy. Can you show me the menu? You can look at me the same way I can look at you. Okay, you you, you rude little man. Okay, that's that's enough. 
Oh, is it enough, is it? Oh, why is it enough? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. We're all going to stand here and you're going to tell you. Okay, so if it's enough, what do you mean? What are you saying it's enough? Are you you're calling me rude? No, I didn't say that. I just said I'm calling you guys here. rude. That's fine. You can say whatever you like. We'll stand here and you can take your videos. Um, I was going to stand here and take my videos before your proclamation that I could stand here and take my videos. And we're not going to stop you from doing that, so you carry on. Well, you're not going to stop me now. We weren't in the first place. But this uh, strange, smiling hyena man was rather angry at me no, initially. No, no anger. We're absolutely fine. You carry on. Don't passively aggressively tell me I can carry on. You carry on. It's fine. We're in public. I'm happy. My name's Charlie Veach. I'm a YouTuber. Please film me. I don't mind. I Sony Xperia. I like your choice of uh, optics. I'm not a bad guy. You shouldn't have thrown your rattles out of your pram asking to grab my camera. Strange little man. You will say that I was a nice person and then you changed your attitude. No, the, the, the timeline, because we have it on video, is I praised you, you insulted me, and then I insulted you back. That's the timeline. Okay, okay, yeah, take your little Wi-Fi router and, uh... Thank you. Yeah, you can, um... <laughs> yeah, I know that, I know that. You don't need to correct me. Okay. So, um, yeah. Anything else you'd like to know while we're here? Um, yeah, um... Why have you been so rude to me? Do <laughs> <laughs> you think it's funny? you think it's funny? You think it's funny, gentlemen? Is it funny? Is it funny? Just trying to do a job, mate. You know. Same here. Yep. Same here. Yeah. Until your friend, he started it. Anyway, I love how the issue was with me filming, and now you're here filming. the The low IQ hypocrisy is hurting me to the point that it's exasperating, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely exasperated. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, totally anyway, um. I think we're done, aren't we? Fantastic. Okay, good. Thank good, you. Good, good. Have a great day. Thanks. Take Thanks. care. Cheers. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Should we go down and look at the... Um, cool. Yeah. Cool. So what's your YouTube channel? I said it earlier, you weren't listening. I wasn't, no. No, sorry, um, it's beyond being friendly now. You can, oh, okay, you can um, leave me alone. Sure, this side. You're at the former RH, no not RH, RBS, Royal Bank of Scotland on uh, the tram line to St. Peter's Square. There's giant, giant doors. I'm six foot five, look how small I am next to the giant door. And uh, finally, we get a quick brief glance inside. There's a desk and it says Bond. It's gonna be nice in there. It looks like it's being renovated to be a hotel. But uh, for now we are not allowed. Okay, welcome to St. Peter's Square. There's the library. This beautiful big classical building. We're on West Mosley Street and the anti-car rammings of peace barriers are being interlinked. 
cells within cells interlinked. And why are they here? In a few days' time, the Conservative Party, political party here in Great Britain that happens to be in government, they're going to be having their annual general meeting, the conference at the Manchester Central, where a few videos ago I was filming the accountancy um, congress and the lady said she was going to get a search warrant to have a look at my camera. Now, uh, I am now in the dead zone, in the sterile zone. No terrorists allowed in here zone, but out there, no problem. We don't have the resources, the funding. We don't have the funding. Oh, I'm sorry, man, I'm working. Sorry, dude. The guy begging me for money. Um, no. Um, imagine being that rich that you have spare change. You got any spare change? Oh, dude, I've got, uh, I've got uh, spare money falling out of my pockets. Fuck off. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, they're, uh... Not only are they um, protected from the car rammings of peace, they, um... Not only are they protected, they also have steam cleaning. You can't have a dirty pavement when the bosses are here. You can't have a dirty pavement. And not only have we got steam cleaning, we have the one and only Midland Hotel. Midland Hotel. It's not mid, it's actually very, very nice. I've stayed in it in the past when prices were good. Hey. <laughs> Say hello. 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 Luke, 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 Luke. Hey. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm in the quarantine. I am now in Israel. Those construction guys are in Palestine. That's Gaza. Gaza. See, here we go. Four legs, good. Two legs, very bad. Um, I don't know if I'm meant to be in here. Look at that from last year. Security seal. You're in, oh, there's a new one. A new security seal. So you know that the terroristas have put or something in there if that security seal is broken. So we continue along lower Mosley Street. We continue well within the danger zone. I'm going to stop filming and start filming again at the end there. Do you know what that is, ladies and gentlemen? Do you know what that is? That's a chip off the old block. Okay, we're here and there's uh, police everywhere. There's police in blue boiler suits. There'll be detectives. There'll be undercover police as in plain clothes. There's all sorts. So we're going to enjoy. In fact, let's follow the humans. We'll come back to static shots in a minute. Let's follow the humans. They are the tactical aid unit, TAU. They are the riot police. And if you saw the news out of Philadelphia last night, seems like they could have done with a little bit more riot police for all the looting they had in Philly. Philly. I went to Philly in the very late 90s. Saw, saw your cracked bell. Saw your, what's it called, South Street? Is that what it's called? The main drag, Philly? So you got a, uh, you got the boiler suit cops and their uh, tactical aid unit XZ3B. Oh, it's a brand new Mercedes van. Only the best. Only but the best for a boy. See, Mercedes, brand new. fetching van. The two front ones are female tactical aid units. They have female riot officers now. Now there's equality in action. Okay, we're entering the zone, the secure zone. That's the back of the Midland Hotel. So when the limos and the armored cars and Rolls Royces, the Tory party donors, when they arrive and they want, they want a front row seat. You know, they've paid $10,000 for their ticket down by the NBA. They want to feel Patrick Ewing's sweat drip off his face and onto their lap. Am I stuck in the 90s? I think I am. Anyway, this is the, this is the conference center. Long-term decisions for a brighter future, it says. So, Conservative Party Conference 23, hashtag, we have our immediate priorities, halve, 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 and <laughs> half inflation, grow the economy, reduce debt, cut waiting lists on the NHS, and stop the boats. Wow. Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Good man. Thanks, man. Cheers. A guy with great taste just uh, complimented me, said he loves my channel. So, look at that. They're openly saying stop the boats. That's a development.
the brown tiles of the Midland. We continue. All this piping needs to be checked for devices. All the piping needs to be checked. You see all this and all that. Hey guys, you all right? Hello. And there's police walking around. You can see, like they've even brought a little stove here. Look, in case people get cold. They've got a heater, look. Look at that, little stove. Don't put anything in it, guys. No funny ideas. They're even removing the dead wood from the conference. You've you got to kick the dead wood out of the Tory party, guys. And that's them there. The new way, we've got Rishi Sunak. Swell a braver man. Uh-oh, they're radioing me. The security are radioing me behind, even though it's still a public area for now. And whilst it is. Look at that. More female tactical aid unit. Riot police. That's cool, man. If you're rioting, would you prefer to be arrested by a male or a female? I don't know. Knowing what I know about the world now, maybe it's less stressful being arrested by a man, you know? Imagine you get arrested by a female riot cop and you resist slightly and then you get a sexual assault charge thrown on top and you're like, no, I didn't mean to. I was trying to resist this. I'm trying to resist arrest. I'll shut up now. Enjoy the views, guys. Enjoy the views. Anyone for conference? Anyone? So here we have the entrance to Manchester Central. You may remember this from six videos ago. I'm being radioed. I know I'm being radioed now. But, you know, it's the, it's the reality rodeo, guys. How long can we stay on the photon bull before it kicks back and throws us off? And then the clowns have to run in to stop it goring me. No one wants to be gored. Except uh, Herman Goring's wife. She didn't mind a, a bit of goring now and again. <laughs> Too soon? Well, I found a Nini house. Little Nini house. If you need a Nini time, you can have a little... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll stand aside. Yeah, yeah. No worries. How are you doing anyway? Right. Yeah, good. Name's Charlie. I'm a YouTuber. I do. Oh, thanks, man. Oh, I've nice one. Cheers, man. See it. All good. Cops are very, very cool when they know that you're not, uh, um, you're not at risk of um, detonating your body. I don't know, but almost a thousand liters of kerosene, or the capacity for a thousand liters of kerosene, seems a bit risky for me. Charlie Veach, really anal health and safety um, commissar, shut it down. Okay, just a bit down the other side with the skyscrapers, or the, the cloud scrapers. We've got a little bit going on here. Oh, cool. Police search advisor. Hi, guys. Sorry. Hi. Hello. Sorry. I liked your badge. My name's Charlie. I'm a YouTuber. It's nothing. Cheers, man. And they've got, I guess these are sniffer dogs. Hello, doggy. I won't come too close. Don't want to upset them. But you look nice. Can I say hello to the dog or not? I can look at them, okay. I don't know friendly, I don't know what you think of Fair enough, fair enough. He looks friendly. I love you, doggy, but because you're working, I'm not allowed to come and say hello. But that dog does look happy. You're a good doggy. So the doggy's friendly one through one day. Oh, there's another doggy van here. This is a police Volkswagen. And he's also got space for four dogs. There are two little doggies looking very forlorn. Now knowing what I know about the British and the English and their love of animals. The dogs are probably very well taken care of when they're not sniffing out Semtex. Okay, we're at the, uh, the north entrance to the uh, Ring of Steel. The strong police protected ring. <laughs> Sounds like, uh, a, anyway, it doesn't sound like that dirty brain. Now, I'll tell you the feeling I have this year. I think they're going to be at risk of uh, environmentalists. Climate change people, just stop oil, animal extinction, that sort of thing, extinction rebellion. There's some very prominent mainstream voices now saying that breaking the law and committing violence in the name of the climate is not only your duty, but also very moral. And uh, when, we, when we push a kind of religious justification for violence, then uh, we know we're dealing with a ideologically driven fa fascistic enemy. Now, when you're God, the climate is more important than actual women and children and 
men trying to work and do well in life, then uh, you have been fully subverted. Well, the Lululemon uh, store didn't do so well in Philadelphia last night. Coming back towards Cracky Gardens, there's blue flashing lights and the police for transit. Da -da -da. Guess which Pokemon? Cracky Gardens! Who remembers that Bill Hicks, Hick, nah, Bill Hicks sketch from the early 90s when he's like, I used to get so drunk, we get pulled over by the cops and I'd be like in the flashing lights thinking, are we at the next club? It was funnier when he did it. It's not just the jab, it's the jabs every little bang, digital cup, the social you know, you know, you know, system, the, bank, the food, right? the water, the, the government, the, the energy bill, we know everything. Yeah, the five pounds is a weapon, but because people don't see it as a weapon, they're not attacking it as a weapon. Don't you not think they should be attacking it as a weapon? It's a 5G thing. It's going to be in the lights and everything in our bloody LED lights, street lights, and then we'll well, the bank situation has moved to the outside, which makes the photon collector's job a lot easier. But as I suspected, all's well that ends well. Away he goes to go bank with some other bank, maybe. Well, I hope it's not another heart attack. I'm good, how are you? You're okay. Don't mind me, I'm a regular M&S customer. I love your products, very good. That's all right, I'm just, I'm just looking at the... Um, ambulance. Yeah, well, I'll tell you the good news, it's only St. John's, it's not a real ambulance, so it's okay. I never said only. That's all right, it's okay. Oh no, it's the back of them, we agreed. I Oh no, it's, it's, I, this is my job, I'm a professional, so... Oh, you, you're working with them? No, I'm an independent professional, but I know how to film patients. Oh, it's okay, it's just that... Um, so please be patient with me. <laughs> no, um, as long as you don't capture their face or their body or any recognizable attributes. They want you capturing any part of my wooden, if I was in that situation, does that make sense? Yeah, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a grey area, which we're, we could debate all day. But as a member of staff at ONS... No, um, it's my job. It's my job. It's my job. Yeah, but I, I really think it's not a nice thing to do when, when I know okay. how vulnerable people are. Really. No, of course. No, I appreciate the discussion, but I need to go and carry on. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Dude, it's not that weird. It's not that weird, bro. Call me weird to my face. I just did it. It's a bit weird. No, no, I walked away and I heard you. I said it's a bit weird. No, you're a bit weird. Go mind your own business, little man. Oh. Yeah, go on. Go on. <laughs> Twat. Right, see you soon. Can you stay away from the night? Lorraine, Lorraine, we're out in public here. You're not in charge. It's not about you. I'm not being involved. And you can be careful who you mutter to next time, my friend. Hello, mate. Anyway, just to f conclude the last scene. I made sure not to capture any personal image of the patient and then I met the son, it was his mother and he was very obviously emotional, I had a chat with him and of course I'm not going to film your mum bro. So uh, hope she makes a full recovery as I told you in person, hope she's okay. Okay we're on Kieran. Right, I'm, I'm here today in Charlie Beach, this is a man who makes videos all about Manchester. What a guy. He's asked me to speak about love. Yeah, love. So in the Bible, there's a definition for love. It says love is patient, love is kind, love is not jealous or conceited or proud. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love overcomes all. It believes all the good things. It holds all good things. It endures all things. And it is eternal. Well, that's God's love. And that can be in us. We can have that on tap. We've got to come to him. We don't have love. Yeah, we run down, we're like rechargeable batteries. We run down in love, even for ourselves. But when you come and praise and ask God to fill you, he fills you with a joy and a peace. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, listen, you can shout, get your own mic. 
You can shout Come all on. you want, bro. I'll shout it in front of you. Hallelujah. Praise the holy name of Jesus. You're talking about love. Jesus We're talking about squat. love here. Love. Jesus, Jesus died, died for you. Squat. Well, that's your opinion. He died on a cross to wash your sins away. He died on a cross for everybody. Wow. That's fact. That is fact. Wow. That is fact. That's what it was all about. He said, love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. You're full of shit. What do you mean? BS, you need Bible study, brother. BS, Bible study. That's what you need, brother. You need the love of the Lord. Yeah, because well, Jesus. You, you need the love of Jesus Christ inside you. Yeah, you do. You need a I love the love of Mary Magdalene. Okay, God bless you. God bless you, brother. Mary Mother! Hey man, okay, thank you. God created you, he knit you together in your mother's womb. He gave you life in the first place, and then he went and died for you to wash away all your sins. That's the good news, man. Well, that's the choice, brother. We all have free choice. Reject him or accept him. Yeah. Wow, look at that. See, you start preaching about love, 30 seconds later that happens. There we go. Copy the cameras. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Kieran. God thank bless you. you. Thank you so come on, Dad. What, what's the latest? Am I going to have to take you home to Mum? Have you had enough beers now? My, uh, my family designed this world. Your family designed this world? Yeah, yeah. My Je Jesus, family. Mary and Joseph? Yeah, my family designed this world. Or do you mean like a kind of matrix, like architect of the matrix? kind of, Or more of a Jesus yeah, yeah, thing? Uh, they, they were the greatest people in the world. Well, they gave birth to you, and you exist. We're just talking about... I'm from Manchester. Yeah. Uh, uh, who do you think I am? Yeah. But we need to ask what we're discussing here. Is the foundational, foundation level of reality, is it mind or is it matter? That's what we want to know here. Right, hang on. Go on. Um, right, it is a, a thingy. So you you think uh, 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 yeah, yeah, the criminal psychology of them? You know what? I understand what you're saying. It's a secret third substance that's neither mind nor matter. I get it. I get it. No, who do you think created the... The um, world, the earth. Or the universe. You mean the universe? No, who do you think created... Go on. Um, Go on. You mean you created I'm sorry, I'm very, very What if, what if every single person is merely God spawning another avatar? Every, all eight billion people is God spawning a new avatar. What about that? Who the fuck is God? God is, we don't talk about him too much around here. We try not to. We, we say maybe the universe, the conscious. Hello, mate. Good to see you again. You're right. Go on. What do you think? I'm in a world of my own. I'm in a world of my own. No worries. Well, listen, have a great day. Enjoy yourself. Manchester is a great city. And um, just. Uh, Yo, well, why are you here? Why am I here? Why is the American here? I'm doing some secret CIA work. There's like some terrorist stuff going on, but don't tell anyone. This is my, this is my operative here. We call him a PS. He looks like a twat. Who? My, my operative? Yeah. He's, despite his twatty uh, look, he's a very nice guy. I've not been to New York. I've never been to New York. It's anyway. Yeah, I've done the Indian Indian thing. Thing. Can I film that? Is that okay if I put this? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no, actually, no, leave it, leave it. Leave it. Anyway, do you want me to sing you a song? A quick song, less than 30 seconds. Go on, you're on. Go on. I've never been to New York. I've been walking in my sleep. I've been walking to New York. And she's. She's got a sheep. Uh, anyway, thank you for your time. All the best. You'll never love me, and you'll never love me. Uh, you never know. I've loved some pretty strange people in my time. You never know. I might love you. I might love you. Anyway, thank you. What's up, man? Why, why did you call me a C-U-N-T? You ain't money out, man. No, you're a good person, but you're not. I'm very sorry about you. He's a good man. Okay, thank you, man. Cheers. Take care. Charlie. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.